What's up, boys? I've made videos on some pretty rich, spoiled kids before, but they weren't really brats, you know? They were spoiled for sure, but they were at least grateful to have what they have. Well, I was just checking through my Instagram DMs, and I saw a DM from this guy who only follows me, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and a CSGO gambling website, and he told me to check out this lady, Ashley Vlaz, or Stormy Lee, who basically makes a bunch of TikToks of her child just being a brat and being super ungrateful and annoying. Why are you always? Well, here I am. Watching these is a little depressing, honestly, because this seven-year-old girl seems to have more power in the family over this, her mom, uh, which is interesting. Ahem, but also, uh, we're trying to hit a mill by the end of the year, in case you were unaware, and we're 7k away, almost 6k, so it's like any day now, honestly, it could happen. So sub, please and thank you, and also comment if you knew anybody like this growing up uh, who was just super spoiled and talked back to their parents, like, all the time, because I've definitely did. And with that being said, Enjoy the video, boys. I'm telling you now. Oh, this um, pillow from Timu. Amelia. Why are you throwing her shit? Don't. Stop. Slippers? Because I took her iPad away. That's why. Because I took her iPad. Oh, this hair? I'm hair? serious. Stop, that's mine, dude. That ain't even hers. Amelia. Hello? Don't. Don't. Oh. Amelia. Rose. Hey! <gasps> no! Don't! Oh my god, dude. Get out. Amelia? Amelia. Bye! Don't! Don't! Okay, dude, it looks like uh, we're gonna have a lot to unpack here in this video. <laughs> I mean, why why is she just standing there the entire time while her daughter is doing all this stuff, recording her? Like, do something. You're the mom. You're, you're not, like, just a random innocent bystander. Go on, get in there. Come on. <laughs> Although, the first thing she threw, I think she said, was from Timu, so I don't think that, that, like, much of value was lost there. And I'm not gonna lie, the iPhone box thing looked pretty light. I don't know. The way she threw it, it looked light, so I'm thinking that there might not have been a phone in there but uh you know i don't know we'll see i guess I'm not even joking it better be somebody else's well it's mine i'm pretty sure if you ordered a 600 dollar purse on my debit card there's going to be hell to pay this time and i'm not kidding well i did why because i wanted to why you're not old enough to have a mark jacobs purse you get all these other bags, so why can I not get any? You can, but not a $600 one. You're seven. No other seven-year-olds get a $600 purse. It sucks because I'm not them. What do you mean you're not them? I'm not them. Are you serious? Yes. I, I can't, I, I can't, I, I can't, I really can't. This must be a way more common thing than I thought for like kids to take money from their parents' credit card and go buy stuff. Cause I never did this as a kid. I was like a terrified of doing something like this. And all those times I wanted Clash of Clans gems and I had to ask my mom for them. And I felt a sense of shame for even asking for money for an in-game purchase. Also what's with all the Godfather images on their wall behind them? You'd think that they would have like a bunch of family pictures or you know, some stuff like that, but it's like the same frame for two of them. Two of them are literally the same frame with like different lighting. I guess their family life is probably so hellish that they don't have any family pictures together because they're constantly screaming at each other. So they just have to put random frames from movies on the wall, which is a little sad, but also kind of funny. She has a dentist appointment. You don't. She's not going to school. Amelia, you're not going with her. I'm going with her. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Yeah. You have to go to school. School's almost over. I don't give a shit, actually. That's exactly why. Because you think you can talk however you want to talk. And that's another reason why I'm not going to give you what you want. Another thing. Did you see your face? Yeah, I did my makeup. There's brown shit all over it. It's called contour. Honey, I don't think it's supposed to look like that. I don't think that you ever used contour before. No, I haven't. But it, I know it's not supposed you to look like you that. You don't know how to put it on. Yeah, I don't think you can go to school with your makeup done because you're not old enough. Um, I've been going to school with makeup on. And nobody says anything to you? Nobody. Everybody just says, oh, I like your makeup, Amelia. Really? Yeah, and I've been wearing contour, so. Oh. Well, not gonna lie, she kind of owned you there at the end. <laughs> 
<laughs> you see how she just like was like oh. at the end and then she just stopped recording this is why your kids don't care about you and don't and and treat you like a joke i really can't tell how real this stuff is i low-key feel like it's kind of fake i mean obviously it's probably a little exaggerated you know for tiktok or whatever but every time i watch one of these videos i'm thinking like they're having this argument they're definitely know they're being recorded so they're probably being worse on purpose for tiktok so they get a lot of views and make money you know what i mean that's the problem with everything nowadays you don't know what's real anymore i'm telling you right now if you took fifty dollars from my purse to buy that teapot thing you are in big 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 trouble no i'm not no you are i'm not i told you that no no i told you amelia 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 did you spend fifty dollars on that for real yes or no yes or no my favorite thing about these videos is how everybody in the comment section just rallies together and is like, yeah, this has got to stop. 215,000 comments on this video, which is like the most comments I think I've ever seen on a TikTok. It's literally people from all different cultures, all places around the world being like, this would never happen. Like Sandra, it was then my mother would have slapped my teeth out of my mouth. <laughs> Again, though, she kind of got owned with the talk to the hand thing. I mean, what did, what did she do in, to re respond to that? You know what I mean? She couldn't do anything. She just kind of fizzled out. It was it was kind of sad, honestly. She even was like, you're going to be in so much trouble. And the girl was just like, no, I'm not. Which is probably true. Probably did not get into any trouble for that after this video, which wasn't really any trouble to begin with. You know what I mean? There's no wonder she's treating you like this. Amelia, now. What? I told you not to go that far. You shouldn't be walking around town without your sisters. Well, well, nothing. Where's your shoes? In the store. Why would you leave them in the store? I wanted to. Amelia, get over here now. And I know that you took a hundred bucks out of my purse. They don't care. I care. Get over here. Amelia Rose, you have to stop taking money out of my purse. I'm not even gonna put money in my purse anymore. I'm only gonna use cards. Okay, I lost your card. Get your ass over here. I'm not kidding. Amelia Rose! You know, I've noticed a trend here with all these spoiled kids. There's an interesting trend where a lot of them don't like to wear shoes in public. So many videos I've watched now where there's just somebody around walking in public with socks on. What's the deal? Also, hey, shocker and in interesting idea, okay? You could, instead of not just putting money in your purse, maybe you could just punish her for taking money from your purse so that she stops doing it. Because then she's just going to take your card, like she said. I mean, she literally told you she's just going to take your card. Your card is an infinite amount of money for her to spend. That's not just like 20 bucks. That could be your entire bank account if she takes your debit card. I know that it's not the best food, but I can't do anything about it. We're at the hospital. I'm sorry that I didn't cook you breakfast, you know, but why? we had to get here before they... Uh, we got time. Like, you, you, you could have got up and ate something that's acceptable. This isn't even real food. I try to get up. But I was so tired because I haven't been getting any sleep. We had to get here before the she doctor came to do his round. You so really do. Is it that much to ask? Look at me. To wake up and cook I a don't meal? have my hair done. Is I didn't it have that a much shower. To ask to wake up and cook a meal? No. How but does I, anybody eat this stuff? This is for workers that have worked long hours to eat this stuff. This is not food. Dude, no way the husband is also like this. I, I mean, I don't know. At this point, I feel like it's just this lady generates a negative aura or something and everybody around her just turns into like a sour person, which sounds pretty mean, but like even your husband is like this. You didn't even raise this guy. This is just a dude that you decided to marry. What are you doing, man? Lock in. There is just no way this can be real. I mean, there's just no way a grown man can also be acting like this. Actually, there is most definitely a way a grown man can be acting like this, but I just don't understand why she would keep someone like this around her when her children are already torturing her every single day. <laughs> you seriously thought it would be a good idea to tell Alyssa to throw all of her makeup away because her mom's a cheap bitch? It doesn't matter about brands. 
Amelia, just because I buy you good brand makeup doesn't mean that everybody your age gets expensive makeup. Um, well, she doesn't even know how to contour, and she doesn't have contour. So you told her to throw it away because her mom's a cheap bitch? Yeah. You're not allowed to go to her house anymore. That's our neighbor. Her mom doesn't want you around her kid. Dude, what is her obsession with contour? And also, I just can't get over the stuff on the wall. Why is there just a Johnny Cash framed photo on the wall? Put like a picture of all of you guys together on vacation or something. What is this? <laughs> Is this as funny to everybody else as it is to me? Like, I just don't understand this. Everybody in the comments is saying that Super Nanny needs to get on this, and I honestly couldn't agree more. I think that would be a couple banger episodes of Super Nanny. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know why you have me in Cracker Barrel. We just left Longhorn. What are you doing? Nothing. I don't understand. Oh my god! I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what we're here. Boop! Excuse me? Anything I can help you shop nope, for? Nope, we're good. Okay. Thanks. Sure. My heart is pounding. See, you just pissed the lady off. No, you just pissed the lady off. No, I didn't. You pissed her off with your face. Look at this dog, it's so cute. She's kind of right though. It, it was you that pissed the lady off. I don't know if you guys noticed, there was a little bit of attitude in the way she responded to that worker. She was like, uh, nope, we're good. Thanks. Like, you see what I mean? It's those little interactions like that where you can tell where these kids are picking the stuff up from. Also, later on in the video, she starts asking permission from her kids to go home. Anyways, I don't care. I want to go home. Can we go home? No. You're the one that's supposed to be like, all right, guys, we're going home. Knock it off right now. And then you like grab them by the earlobe and tail them out of the out of the cracker barrel into the car. But uh, <laughs> nope. Nope, it actually seems like the kids are the in charge here. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think I've seen enough of these people for one day. Um, I don't even know what to say, honestly, or where to start, but <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Let me know if you want me to do more videos, because they have a lot of these videos. I feel like I just unearthed something insane here. So follow me on Twitter and Instagram, both of which are at DomSoEpic. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.